Fellow Spartans, how you doing and welcome back to a quick update video on Total War Warhammer. So Creative Assembly released a new developer blog last Tuesday and this time they were focusing on the technologies that will be available for you to research within the different playable factions on the game. Each race has access to their own specific technology tree where players can pick and choose upgrades that improve their faction in one of many ways. As all races are culturally unique, Nothing shows their difference better than their technology tree, as the amount of technologies and the ways to unlock them vary significantly. And this is promising, as I found in past Total Wars, the technologies available to you were kind of the same in some ways, which I guess is understandable given that some cultures and factions were relatively similar. But obviously because of the fantasy setting and the diversity that this allows, it means we could potentially see a lot more exclusive features and dynamics with every race's technology on the game. Again, as I've mentioned previously, this emphasises their aim for depth as opposed to width, for Total War Warhammer. And relating back to my regional occupation video, it's things like this which I hope will help to keep us busy in our campaigns and forget about the limitations placed on capturing regions on the map. Okay, so now let's take a look at the races in a little bit more detail and discuss what we know so far about their specific technologies. Okay, so first off we have the Dwarves and logically these have more technologies to unlock than any other race. But their tech tree is also the most rigid, as dwarves have their own stubborn traditional ways of doing things and are generally wary of progress. The dwarven tech tree, which you can see on the screen right now, consists of two large branches that are based on the pillars of their society, the clans that are in charge of the military matters, and the guilds that keep their economy running. Some dwarf characters can learn skills that speed up research time, and these will really pay off in the long run, as technologies will take more time and more turns to complete as you progress deeper in the tree. Unlike the Dwarves, the Empire does not have a tech tree at all, which is really interesting. Instead of technologies having another tech as a prerequisite, the Empire's techs all require a certain building to be constructed before research can begin. Most mid and high level buildings have three associated technologies that become available for research once the prerequisite building has been finished and you can choose to complete these in any order you like. Most technologies provide upgrades to the specific units that are recruited at the building that unlocks the technology in the first place, although there are a few civic and economic upgrades available here and there as well. Now when you think of orcs and goblins, technological progress probably isn't the first thing that comes to mind. Still, inventive goblins occasionally throw some stuff together and if things do not prematurely catch fire and explode, come up with something that is actually useful. This way, brainy goblins provide a valuable contribution to the war effort, which is handy, as they're less likely to get eaten by their bigger cousins that way. Now, the green skin tech tree is remarkably simple and straightforward. All upgrades have something to do with fighting, war and slaughter, as there is no green skin that is interested in increasing economic productivity or other useless nonsense such as that. Greenskins are unique in that they need to do a bit of thinking before they can get their most powerful units, namely the Arachnorak Spider and the Goblin Dune Diver, onto the battlefield. The Chaos Hordes exist only to serve their dark gods and hope to earn their favour. Powerful Chaos Lords that have earned sufficient favour with the Chaos Gods may ask for boons, but they will need to pay the price first. And this is all that is told to us about Chaos, so hopefully as we get closer to the release, we'll get to hear more about how the technology will work for them. Much like the Vampire Counts, not much has been revealed about the enigmatic Vampire Counts at this stage. It is rumoured that the Vampires managed to get their hands on four cursed tomes of great power, and their necromancer underlings toiled endlessly in forbidden libraries to decipher the unholy secrets contained therein. So there you have it guys, a little snippet of information from Creative Assembly on how technologies will play out in Warhammer. I'm really looking forward to seeing the variety within each race and the potential it will have to shape your campaigns. So not only will it hopefully give you a unique flavour, but also the possibility of researching a completely different tech chain with the same faction, but on a separate playthrough. So if there's any more news over the next few weeks, of course, I'll be sure to keep you all posted. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. But until next time, this is Warrior Spotter for now saying farewell.